The Motoguchi 500 V8 or the Auto Motorcycle was developed by Giulio Cesare Carcan specifically for the Motoguchi racing team for the 1955 to 1957 Grand Prix seasons. The Auto engine had a V-shaped 8-cylinder engine layout with liquid cooling with a displacement of 500 cubic centimeters and a separate carburetor for each cylinder. Engineers fit massive V8 into motorcycle frame weighing only 45 kilograms. Motorcycle total weight 148 kilograms. Task accomplished. One day Jay Lena made an interesting comparison. When you look at one of those Guzzi V8s all apart, it's, it's like taking a watch apart. Little tiny pieces. The motorcycle delivered a peak power of 78 horsepower at 12,000 revolutions per minute and was capable of reaching a speed of 300 kilometers per hour 20 years before this figure was repeated in Grand Prix motorcycle racing. By the year 1955, Moto Guzzi had already demonstrated its engineering expertise by designing motorcycles with different types of engine setups. To maximize publicity, the Moto Gucci racing team's manager wrote a letter to the global motorcycle media detailing their Grand Prix plans, including a drawing of the new bike and inviting the public to speculate on its design. Only a small number of people guessed correctly, and Otto had an incredible public debut a few months later. However, the wheels, brakes and suspensions lagged behind the engine, making racing on this motorcycle too dangerous, and the engine had constant issues. Jams, overheating and huge expenses, which in 1958 led to its discontinuation. Probably the most amazing thing about the Moto Gucci is that it went from a blank sheet of paper to a running engine in just five months. It's also important to remember that back in those days there were no computer technologies or modeling available for Moto Gucci. Carcana sat at the table with a pencil, paper and a calculator and everything else happened in his head. The V8 engine was truly genius, but it also contained madness. A huge leap forward, too much uncontrollable power, racers were simply afraid to compete on it. The main problem with motorcycles is that the technology has outpaced their time, and today it's a true legend in metal.